Roll-On is basically the only linear motion company out there that provides the whole range of capability for seventh axis. Nobody else can do that. Nobody else can, can take that small robot and move it back and forth and take the large robot and move it back and forth too. So for the application engineer that's out there for integrators, we got it all. The trend in the industry is to start using larger robots. So where we've solved problems before with our aluminum linear actuators, we can no longer do in our traditional roll-on products. So IMS really picks up where we left off and solves those larger robot problems by using a, a steel frame seventh actuator. And the combination of the two is one thing that no other linear motion company can do. Traditionally, Roland's been in more of the packaging and we deal a lot with, with integrators that are using actors for various things. And, and IMS just takes that again to the next level. It goes into aerospace, automotive, it could be different welding applications, painting applications, and whether it's mounted on a wall, whether it's mounted inverted, it can be done in so many different arrangements that we're always going to solve your needs. So IMS's engineering philosophy is Everything must be designed to 10 to the 8th uh, meters, which is 100,000 kilometers of life for the drive and guide components. IMS design philosophy is that everything that we make will exceed the platform requirements that the precision profile guideways have to sit on. So just by default, inherently, everything is, is, must be rigid. Some other guiding principles are everything that IMS does, we, we only use metric. We have individual machine lengths that can be linked together to make machine distances or travel distances that are basically infinite. Um, everything is designed for global manufacturing from the components. Uh, we use the COTS or commercially available off the shelf uh, philosophy in all component selection. Everything must be brand interchangeable. So if you're built to an ISO or a DIN spec, you can select components that are available locally. IMS is scalable. Uh, everything must be able to be transferred from one machine tool to the other so that nothing can be pigeonholed into being custom manufactured uh, by one particular piece of equipment or one particular method. All of our solutions are basically modular and pre-engineered. So what that means is that from a modularity standpoint, if there are multiple bases or beams or connections, that those would all be precise. They would be to incremental lengths that would allow for basically infinite extension or expansion of the, the floor track or the overhead gantry or whatever the machine might be. Um, and then from a COT standpoint, commercially available off the shelf component selection, everything must be in an IMS solution, must be commercially available and off the shelf from the guideways, the profile guideways, um, from the, the gear reducers, from the rack and pinions, uh, and it, even if we select other components that are not necessarily fitting a, a, a commercial standard solution, even the custom solutions would have to employ the same non-specialized component specification to be part of an IMS solution. We are 100% vertically integrated, and uh, that helps us to control our lead times and also the quality at every step of the process. We do all of the engineering and the consultation with the customer, we arrive at a solution, and then we are able to do all of the welding, machining, and assembly in-house. So it's a predictable process, it's a predictable um, lead time, it's predictable results to, to all of our local customers. We can machine long parts, long bases and structures for gantries and uh, RTUs, um, using factory automation to very tight tolerances. Not only do we understand and we control all these disciplines in-house, but we actually make our own machine tools. And so our large format CNC mills are what we use to manufacture the solutions for our customers. IMS machines are made by IMS machines. So we've customized our manufacturing processes to utilize solutions that we've developed. The culmination of everything I've said about our equipment and our processes, it, it wouldn't be possible to actually sit here and talk to you if I didn't know for a fact that all our people buy in and that all our people are doing all of these things that actually make the end product as good as it is on a consistent basis.